Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy DJ Superfly once more giving you another little tutorial about um, how to use the Rain72 and another cool little app that allows you to use the uh, virtual channels in the Rain72 uh, to be able to get that mix out into whatever software, streaming software you're using. Uh, in this case, we'll be using OBS and a program called Loopback. Uh, now, taking a chance that it is $100, um, but given the circumstances right now, it's very hard to find, you know, uh, uh, an a device that will actually ship to you on time. The last thing I heard is uh, Amazon's taking at least a month before they can ship out stuff. And unless you live in the area where you know they sell some type of um, uh, device like the iRig systems or something like that, then you're in luck. But this is mostly for the videos that um, for people that are looking for uh, to do it real quick, they they can just start streaming today. Um, we'll go ahead and jump into it. So as you can see, I got the uh, Serato, I got the Rain 72 hooked up. It's running in internal modes on both sides. Um, and I'm also running Mix Emergency. I'm also going to show you how to run videos into Mix Emergency. Um, or I'm sorry, videos from Mix Emergency into OBS. So you can kind of see how that works. Uh, we're going to start with the first program here. We're going to start with a program called Loopback. So here it is, as you can see, the channels five and six, these are the virtual channels again. Um, you have to take consideration that uh, the RAIN 72 it's a, is a digital sound card, so it allows to have the channels manipulated, but for that you need a driver, uh, a specific app that allows you to route those channels, um, kind of like Ableton does, uh, and a lot of big um, different softwares that allow you to do that. The ones that, that use, you know, the production uh, um, software apps that that allow you to, to you know, manipulate the sound cards and all that but in this case we're going to use uh, an app called loopback again it's hundred dollars um, but it does wonders it does pretty much <laughs> great things so if you're looking to get into using this uh, app for not just you know for the DJ part of it or live streaming you can usually usually use it for um, like let's say you want to um, stream or record into the computer you know sp specific mixes or if you want to do outputs and have monitors and all that and in your systems and this is a pretty cool thing to have and um, we're going to go ahead and start from scratch so I'm actually going to delete this so we're going to go ahead and delete it and it's very simple so the virtual device basically we're going to create the rain 72 um, kind of call it virtual channel five and six, which is the main one. Um, we're gonna add the source here. Kind of see the 72 audios here. You can actually use whatever applications that you want to capture audio from, which is another pretty cool thing. Um, select the range 72. So you can see there, it automatically wires the first uh, two channels, virtual channels into the mixer. And this is what a lot of people experience when they hook up their, um, Rain 72 to the computer uh, and they want to run audio they try to figure it out this is like the main default this is like the first two that's why it says left and right um, you can change this but you have to change it in the software and it allows you just to run two channels in this case we can run pretty much a lot of channels as you can see here the uh, right deck on uh, the Rain 72 is basically uh, 9 and 10 and the other deck Deck A or deck one is seven and eight. So the mix is five and six, and we want to route those into the output channels. And I tried deleting this, but for some reason it doesn't let you do that. So we're just going to create a new one. We go ahead and select this one and delete it. And all we have to do is just route the specific channels to the main output channels. So this creates like a like a virtual deck in the system that allows you to use it for any program that you're using. Uh, if you want to monitor it from your computer, let's say um, right now I'm using the headphones, um, but I have a mic connected. But if you have speakers or anything connected to it, you can actually monitor it 
take note that there is going to be a delay because it's going to run through the system so it's going to be a, a second delay or whatever it is so it's not going to sound like how you want it to sound you know like when you're scratching and stuff <laughs> I, don't, I don't recommend it um but this is mostly to to use the app to route it into the uh, uh, whatever streaming software you use so once we have this set up that's all we do we just create this virtual channel uh, we can go ahead and close the app and from now we're gonna select OBS so with OBS I already had it here so we're gonna start from scratch um, and I'll show you how to run the video and all that here in a bit with Mixed Emergency but what we're basically going to do is we're gonna add a source uh, we're gonna add audio input and we're gonna ring, ring 72 as that and it's gonna ask me for a device and you can kind of see here now that we got that virtual channel that we created earlier which is that virtual channel 5 and 6 once we do that there it is there's the sound and I'm gonna turn down the volumes on the mixer you can see the video and that's it that's all I need to do there's no running cables there's no running anything all the only thing connected to the computer is the rain 72 uh, USB-C uh, into the mixer or into the computer so that's it you don't need anything else uh, I haven't seen any delays any uh, audio skips or anything like that uh, the CPU has been running pretty low uh, so it works pretty pretty great so whatever mix you want to do I highly suggest this uh, app because it will get you started pretty fast <laughs> for those people looking to live stream their sets and all that so Highly recommend it. Um, pretty cool app. Like again, it's hundred dollars. I'll link the uh, um, the website down in the description box for you to check out. Um, but now let's move on to the to the second part of the video, which is going to be um, how do you route the videos. So again, we're going to use Mix Emergency because uh, Mix Emergency allows outputs, allows NDI out, which I talked earlier in, on some of my videos, and it also allows Siphon out. Now, if you don't know about Siphon, it's a pretty cool little, um, like a virtual video device that works within the program uh, to allow other VJ softwares to to use videos. So, um, for this, we're going to set that up, and it's pretty easy. You go into Preferences and Sharing, and all you have to do, literally, is just select Siphon Output. And that allows for Mix Emergency to route that as a hidden layer to so like a hidden virtual machine somewhere in the system so we just select it it turns off uh, you can do separate channels if you wanted to we're going to concentrate on just on the output um, that's it just make sure you turn that on and once you go into the um, OBS software here so we're going to remove the capture device yeah, oh, actually it's the siphon client there so we're going to remove that and basically just add it from here. You can see there, Siphon Client. It's gonna, and it's going to automatically pick it up. Well, not automatically, but it's going to detect that it's there. Have that. There it is. You can do all the cropping of it if you want. Press OK. There it is. You just adjust it to your screen. And that's pretty much it. So we're going to move it down here, we're going to put it below there, and then you have the logo, whatever you're running on top of that. And that's it. You're ready to stream after this, and you kind of see there, I'm messing with the mixer to show you. But it's pretty responsive with an OBS. So now you're getting both. Now you're getting the, um, the audio um, virtual device that's running into OBS. It's ready to stream for everybody. Uh, take note that the volume can only be controlled within the software so if it sounds too loud like in my case just lower it a little bit um, because every channel has its own you know its own gain so if I turn up the gain on that on that deck so you can kind of see there it's peaking already so each each channel has to be managed correctly um, and the main output volume is going to be controlled within the app so be aware of that you don't want your stuff sounding distorted and whatnot, but um, and that's it. And all you have to do is just start streaming, and once you have the outputs figured out for um, how to stream and all that, um, again, I can show you how to do that. But I feel there's so many videos out there that can show you how to um, 
I'll put the stream into whatever channel you're using, Facebook or whatever. Um, just search on YouTube on how to do that. Uh, I don't want to spend too much time doing that. I just want to show you the specific things that I do when I'm sending out my audio and my video out for those people that have been wondering. Uh, and this app works great. So, yeah. and uh, I can do this with Wirecast as well. But Wirecast is a little bit different because it automatically detects it. And with OBS being a free open source software, um, it doesn't have that, uh, that specific program to allow you to uh, use those virtual channels on 72. So you have to rely on a third party plugin to be able to do that. And in this case, the best one that I've found is Loopback. And of course, you have to spend money. But again, you know, for those people who are wanting to stream now and they want to get their, you know, their their mixes out there or to their friends or followers um, this would probably be the best way uh, I don't know if this works with other mixers I haven't really tried the S9 or controllers if there's a specific channel that allows to be uh, a main out for um, those virtual channels like we did with the 72 then that's great um, but this is what I consider uh, the fastest way to basically get the input that, that um, that main output into the software so yeah if you guys have any questions let me know in the comments uh, please uh, subscribe like this video and hit that bell for more notifications I'll be uploading a lot more videos with this live streaming and this whole thing we're going through right now we're going through this all together so kind of wanted to put this video out there to help help my fellow DJs out so that they can start streaming and showing off their stuff all right well uh, we'll see you in the next one stay safe everyone peace